What's up guys? Luke here from Luke's Points and Miles and today we are going to do a video on what is in my wallet in quarter three 2021. Now I am a few days late. Quarter three started a few days ago but I wanted to do a video because if you are watching the channel you probably know that I'm an American Express fanboy. I run a very heavy American Express membership rewards points setup and I'm going to be departing from that. I'm going to be changing direction at least temporarily and this is the setup I will be using for at least three months to assess how beneficial it is. So why the change? Well first off we have a couple trips planned in quarter three and the trips are already paid for with the miles and points already earned so right now I don't have an immediate need to earn more points and miles. I have a surplus of airline miles and I have a surplus of hotel points. So I'm sitting just fine right there. I have cashed out most of my membership rewards points using the Charles Schwab Platinum card at 1.25 cents per point. So I'm sitting with a little bit of extra cash and I think you might see a trend here. The second thing that is going on with my family at the moment is we are looking to purchase our second rental property in quarter four or possibly quarter one of 2022 and going a different direction to complement that purchase. Um, right now I'm in the middle of a, a cash out refinance of my first rental property and I want to take that cash that I pull out of that property and use it to purchase a second one. I would feel a lot more comfortable about my financial situation with a second rental property in these fairly uncertain times. So if you are interested in real estate investing, refinancing, please hit a comment down below and I'd love to do a video just on that topic. But I digress, let's get into the cards. First card, as always, I may not be using it for spending at all, but I'm carrying the American Express Platinum card. We do have a couple trips coming up and if you are a fan of the channel, you know that I am really heavy on airport lounge access. I think it's a huge benefit and I think it really changes the way we travel. Gotta have the Platinum. I don't care what they do with the annual fee. The second card I will be using is again, not a departure from the norm, but we will still be using the American Express Gold card. In my opinion, it's still the best card for groceries and dining. So even though we are not focusing on accumulating membership rewards points, I still want to have that flow coming in. Here's kind of where we diverge from the normal setup. My next card has been dusted off out of the drawer and is now in my phone. It is the Chase Amazon Prime card. And I'm going to try to use this card for more of my everything else spend. This card gets 5% cash back from Amazon. So with that card, we're gonna to try to do a lot more everything else spend. The next card I'm going to be carrying, at least virtually, is the US Bank Cash Plus. Now we did do a video on this card, and it, in short, it earns 5% cash back on two categories that you pick each quarter. And this quarter, I will be earning 5% cash back on cable, internet, streaming, and home utilities. It's not the easiest thing to do to get 5% cash back on your home utilities, and most of us have to pay them. So I'm kind of excited about that new addition. Continuing on that road, I also did a video on US Bank Cash Plus clone cards. I was able to open a bank account with a local bank here in Central Ohio called Park National Bank and they offered a card called the Max Cash Preferred which is almost identical to the US Bank Cash Plus. So this gives me an additional two categories of 5% cash back. And in this quarter we are going to be getting 5% cash back on our cell phone bills and entertainment. Now entertainment will include live sports entertainment, football tickets. It also includes Disney theme park tickets. And we are going to Disney here in a couple weeks. So I'm really happy about that. The next card I have a 
story about how I acquired it. We have done a couple videos on city cards. One was the custom cash card, a fairly new card that offers 5% cash back on your highest category spend up to $500 a month. We also did a keep or cancel video on the City American Airlines Platinum MasterCard. Now, as this video is going out, yesterday I was able to contact City and do a product change from the American Airlines MasterCard to the City Custom Cash. So as soon as that arrives, I will be getting 5% cash back on gas. And to bring everything else together, I will be breaking out the Fidelity Visa Signature to get 2% cash back on everything else. So there you have it guys. We are going to go a different direction in Q3 2021. I would love to do an update in three months to see how that went. And guys, if you are interested in cash back, please use a shopping portal like Rakuten. We do have a link in the bottom. If you use our link, you will get $30 cash back on your first purchase. The channel will benefit and I will greatly appreciate it. Also guys, if you have gotten any value out of this video, please hit the like button. It will help with the YouTube algorithm and it will push this video out to more people. We are getting super close to 500 subscribers and I'm really happy about that. And if you are a subscriber yourself, I appreciate you. Guys, if you have stayed around to the end, thank you.